Dobe seems to be um, a festival that kind of captures the, the best of this type of uh, intimate uh, folk scene that's happening, or just kind of rootsy, you know, guitar, campfire, stomp down business, and takes it and puts it in a its natural setting, which is uh, in some beautiful uh, natural backdrop namely Orcas Island, which is one of my favorite places on the earth. And there's just something about the San Juans everybody talks about. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's along a magnetic energy ley line or something. Um, but there's just something really special about the folks out there. There's always something special about island folks in general. You know, the geography of island, they're kind of cut off from the mainland. That's kind of mirrored in, in, in their psychology. It's very much the same on Orcas. It just seems to be amplified. I spent a lot of time on Orcas when I was uh, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, after I uh, got out of high school, I got a job out there because I didn't really have any place to go. I'd kind of like left home and uh, a good friend of mine Adam Farish his dad owned the Outlook Inn in East Sound so I started working up there um, and uh, another one of my best oldest friends Darren he lives up there now Adam now owns the Outlook so I, I'd been back and forth up there for years I, it's been a little while since I've been up there but it's absolutely one of my favorite places in the world so I feel like it's second home I have a real spiritual attachment to the place so I've always been naturally very curious about Dove Fest just because of that um, and unsurprised by people's like you know being totally swept up you know by the place because that's just what it did anyway so if you're having this transformative musical experience out there I'm looking forward to that you know big time